So, what is going on YouTube? It is me, your boy, Flash Jones, back again with yet another amazing video. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about railroad, rail fanning, safety, like a one-on-one, -on -one, so to say. With that being said, let's jump right on into it. All right, so these, what I'm going to go through now in this little clip here before I do my videos is I'm going to show you a few things, try to get you to pay attention to some things that you uh, really should pay attention to if you're ever out rail fanning or taking any pictures or videos of trains if you're that close. Um, that close meaning within about 500 feet. And a few, the few things that I want to talk about is um, if you guys ever, maybe you can Google them. Um, maybe if you ever get close enough uh, up to a locomotive that's stopped or whatnot. If you ever get close enough to one or you just catch a good photo of one. If you guys ever see up on the nose somewhere that there are a lot of dents. Like I, uh, I know you guys would never really catch this unless you caught it in a photo. But on the door here, I don't know if you can see this door that's kind of... Uh, molded out um from this kid the door i don't know if you guys can kind of see it you should be able to um in real life obviously it's separate from the cab itself it just swings on some hinges but you guys will never catch it but there are on some locomotives there are massive dents on the door on the nose area um on certain some on some handrails the handrails are maybe not bent but they're dented and um, like I'll, um, but there are lots of dents and you know spots where you can see that something has impacted the locomotive. Okay, in real life, when these trains are rolling down the rails, if there was an animal there, it would get caught in the snow plow area and under the anti climber, right? So there's no way that you know unless it was you know a jumping cow for lack of animal knowledge, you know, unless it was able to jump up high enough that it jumped up above the anti-climber, number one, it would demolish all of the ditch light assembly, all of the chain and handrail assembly up here, and then possibly get up onto the uh, nose. But traditionally, what I've learned and what I've uh, experienced a few times already uh, from being on the rails is that when a train is passing another train, so you got a train on main one, headed east and you got a train on main two headed west when these trains are passing each other say they're doing 70 miles an hour each so if they were to hit head on that's 140 mile per hour collision so to say so if you have trains headed in opposite directions and a piece of metal or piece of debris you know one common thing is a um oh i can't think a brake pad a brake pad off of one of the uh sets of rolling stock that rolling stock one of the cars that are being transported is that they'll fly off they'll just it's just old hadn't been serviced recently and it'll just fly off and it'll catch the nose and it'll just dent it or it'll catch you know a trailer or a container or you know anything that's rolling out there and they're rolling past each other at you know high speeds 70 miles an hour each train if they're both you know high priority or whatever doing 70 miles an hour and they pass each other if something flies off one train and hits another it's going to hit it as if it was going 140 miles an hour because the opposite train is headed in the same speed but in the opposite direction if you can kind of catch my drift so what i'm really just trying to you know press on right here on the nose a lot of times there'll be dents you know right up in here right up in here the hand rows that are on the nose will be bent or pushed in you know, that doesn't happen just by riding down the rails every single day. Something hits it. And keep in mind, a locomotive is solid steel. Solid steel. So for something to bend it, dent it, you know, it's got to be moving pretty fast or it's got to be significantly heavy. Okay? And if something that heavy was to hit a locomotive, the locomotive probably wouldn't be running anymore. Or at least they'd have to put a new cab on it. So keep in mind that when these trains are passing, they could be throwing off anything anything that it doesn't really you know i can't you know say exactly what it is because it can honestly be anything it could, it could be a rock that got caught under the uh air hoses that hang low you know anything could get caught there anything can get flung anything can get swung straight at you and you won't know until it hits you okay um 
after that happened, I was pretty much facing every train. One other thing I want to talk about, I don't know if I did in all of my videos that I took, but um, I'm going to make sure that from now on when I do uh, do videos of trains, I'll do rail fanning, that I am, I have my eyes on the train. That If it's coming towards me, I'm looking at it. I don't have my back towards it. I, I've seen a few videos where uh, they have the, the trains going away and they have the, the camera in a position that you see it leaving. You know, the only time that I really try to turn around is when I catch the tail end of the train and I turn the camera to catch the tail end and catch the uh, the ETD. And so um, that's one thing I kind of wanted to touch on in this little clip. Um, hopefully you guys will uh, listen to my advice. If not, God help you, because when something flies off one of these trains and it hits you, it, it, it's not going to regret it. It's not going to have any feeling. It's going to hit you and it's going to hurt. And that's just going to be it. Like I said, if there are dents all over the noses and calves of these locomotives, what do you think it's going to do to your soft, meaty flesh? It's going to rip it apart. Okay. Um, with that being said, everybody have fun. Run trains. It's all about having fun and being happy. But it's also, also very important that we're safe. Okay. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have, it doesn't make sense for us to be out taking videos if we're in a wheelchair because we got hit by something flying off of a train or you know we got brain damage because something flew off a train and hit us because we wanted to be close like i said again i was too close in my first video and my very first clip i should say and then after that after the camera got blown off i moved another you know 75 100 feet away you know just because i want to be a little more comfortable i wanted the railroaders that were riding in the locomotives to feel more comfortable in the sense that I was not up on the rails. So like I said, with that being said, have fun, run trains, be safe. Please be safe. All right.
That was sweet. Thank <laughs> you.